Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to look at the lowest structure for bromate ion. It comprises of one bromine atom and three oxygen atoms. So we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons. Bromine has seven valence electrons in its outer shell, whereas oxygen has six. We are going to multiply this number by three because there are three oxygen atoms and as it has a minus charge over here, it means it is acquiring one additional electron to form a stable structure and hence we are also going to count that as well. So in total we have 26 valence electrons for BrO3 minus. Now we are going to place bromine atom in the center and all the oxygen atoms will be placed around it like this. Once you have done that, place a pair of electrons between bromine and oxygen atom to show a bond. Doing that we will be using up 6 valence electrons and now we are left with only 20 valence electrons. So we will first try to complete the octets of oxygen and then we will try to see if we can complete the octet of bromine atom as well. Now when you start arranging electrons, each oxygen atom will require 6 more which means we can use up 18 out of 20 and the rest 2 electrons will be uh, shifted to bromine. Doing that, the doing that the octets of all the atoms will be completed as every atom will have 8 valence electrons and you might think this is the lowest structure for BrO3 minus but hold on. Bromine can have expanded octets and hence it becomes necessary to check the formal charges because there are chances that it can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So whenever you come across any uh, element or any atom that can accommodate more electrons in its outer shell, always make sure to check the number of uh, check the formal charges on the atom when you are drawing a Lewis structure. So uh, here bromine has a total val number of valence electrons 7 and we are going to minus the non-bonding non valence electrons which is um, 2 and the bonding electrons is 6. So using this formula we can calculate the formal charges for uh, bromine and uh, oxygen. So doing that we will get a formal charge of plus 2 for bromine and for oxygen it would be minus 1. So you can either use this formula or you can also check out our formal charge calculator linked in the description box below to calculate the formal charges and hence uh, bromine has a charge of plus 2 here and we and in any Lewis structure we try to come up with a structure in which the atoms have charges as close to as as close to zero as possible so here we are going to try that by shifting a pair of electrons from oxygen in between bromine and oxygen atom doing that the charge on bromine will be now plus one so to get rid of this plus one charge as well we are going to shift one more pair of uh, electrons from the oxygen atom and doing that we will form two double bonds with oxygen like the bromine atom will form two double bonds with two oxygen atoms and if you now calculate the charge on these atoms it would be zero so all the atoms in this uh, will have zero which means now this is the most uh, accepted Lewis structure for BrO3 minus and as it's an ion we um, have to put brackets and we have to uh, also mention the charges on this molecule so always make sure to uh, mention the charges remember the oxygen atoms that are forming bonds with bromine atom will have a charge of zero and the oxygen which is not bond forming a bond will have a charge of minus one so as this oxygen has a minus one charge this is the charge we are going to mention over here and rest atoms like this bromine atom and these two oxygen atoms have a charge of zero so i hope this video helps you to understand the lowest structure of bromate ion and for more such videos on lowest structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching